Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Gabriel Romani for the Daily Reminder. Brothers and sisters, when we commit sins, and some sins are great, they're huge, you know, they're, they're very, very heavy. We sometimes lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We sometimes feel that, you know, I'm a hypocrite. Like, how can I go to the masjid and how can I stand foot to foot, shoulder to shoulder next to my brother? How can I say Allahu Akbar? How can I read the Quran? How can I look at the Quran and what I have done before? How can I put these two together? Am I not a hypocrite? Am I not feeling like I'm contradicting myself? You know, should I not stop praying and just not, you know, show so religious, have such a religious loop when I know that what I'm doing is such, you know, it's such such a bad thing. And the reality is, brothers and sisters, that we cannot lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This kind of grain of thought is from shaitan and he wants you to lose hope. He wants you to think that Allah will not forgive you. He wants you to think that, hey man, come on guy, what are you, what are you trying to do? Who are you? You're a hypocrite. You know, you're showing one face in front of people, another face when you are in private, another face when you're with your parents, another face when you're with your friends. But that's not the case, brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is so much greater than that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love is so much greater than that. I want you to think about this beautiful story. This beautiful story that basically it's moral to start with as that there is no way other than with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no way else to go except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A young man and an old man came together and they went for Hajj. And as soon as they were embarking to go for Hajj, the old man said, Labbaik Allahumma labbi. As he said that, the young man heard a voice. Wala labbaik, wala sa'adaik. Meaning that the, this, you know, niyyah, of Hajj was not accepted, that this person's Hajj, this old man's Hajj is rejected. So the young man was, was very, very, you know, surprised. He said, Oh, uncle, did you not hear this voice? So the uncle said, the old man, the Hajj said, Yes, I heard it, my son, I heard it. I've been hearing this voice for 40 years. I've been doing Hajj for 40 years. And every time I say, Labbaik, Allahumma Labbaik, I hear that rejection, I hear that voice telling me, that basically the Hajj is rejected. And the young man was surprised. He says, oh uncle, and you still insist in making Hajj? You still want to make Hajj for this? And the old man said, oh my son, think about this. Think about this, my son. Is there any escape from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala other than to Allah? Meaning, if Allah rejects you, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept something because of some fault, some shortcoming, some sin. Is there any other way other than to Allah? Meaning, can you escape from Allah other than back to Allah? You know, we have things that we fear in our lives. We have things that we run away from in our lives. Every one of you, brother, sister, you have something that in your life you fear and you want to escape from. Akhi, Ukhti, where are you going to escape from? From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, other than to Allah. Allah There's no way other else to go except to make in tawbah to him, except to repenting to him, except to coming back to him. If you think good of him, then it will be for you. And if you think bad of him, it will be for you. If you think that Allah will forgive you with yaqeen, well guess what? Allah will forgive you. Not because I say so, because he says so, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says that he will forgive. And we should never lose hope because this is from shaitan. When you lose hope and saying, well, you know, I'm too bad. I'm never going to be able to do this. How can I, you know, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and my sins are too great? No. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Brothers and sisters, don't ever lose hope. You will fight to the last breath. We will fight begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
banging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our, our faces to the ground. Keep saying, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, that that last word that will come out of your mind will be La ilaha illallah. And don't forget, as the Prophet said, that the person who says the Sayyidul Istighfar, the, the, the leaders of, of, of make the repentances, Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa ant khalaqtani wa ana abduk wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'dika mastata't a'udhu bika min sharri ma sana't abu'u laka bi ni'matika alay wa abu'u bi dhanbi faghfir li فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أن سبحان الله يعني affirming your your weakness to Allah سبحانه وتعالى affirming his rububiyah first and foremost اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني you have created me وأنا عبدك and I am your servant وأنا لا أحدك وعديك مستطاع and me on onto the covenant that I took with you I'll do my best whatever I can I seek refuge from from the evil things i abu laka bi wa abu bi i recognize your ni'mah upon me and i recognize my sins so forgive me that there's because there's no one else who will forgive me except you brother and sister don't ever despair of this mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet sallallahu said whoever says this this is the thought in the morning and dies in the night he will die upon he will enter jannah and whoever says that at night and dies you know after in the morning he will enter Jannah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on all the Muslims all over the world. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www.dailyreminder.org slash donate. And stay updated by joining our network's social links.